everyone. Welcome to Source Snack Break. I am Ren with Source. Today is Thursday, August 6th. Um, before we get started, I'll explain a couple things about the webinar tool. You're all muted automatically, but you do have access to the live chat there on the right. So you can pop in your favorite emoji to try it out. And you can also use the live chat to ask questions or comment. And we'll make sure we answer any questions you have. So bring it on. We love it. We're also going to send you a recording of the webinar after the presentation, or it'll live on our events page, so you can check it out there, send it to a friend, whatever you'd like. Today's guest is Rochelle with Cambria Courts. Hey, Rochelle. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me, Ren. Yeah, before we get started, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Well, well I guess I can. Um, so I am a true Oregonian. There's not many of us in this industry. I was born and raised right outside of Eugene, Springfield area. Uh, start a couple of years at the university, um, living on campus in Eugene, and then met the man of my dreams, and we moved up to um, the suburbs of Portland, where he started his career, and I finished at Merrill Hirsch University with an interior design degree. Awesome. And then, uh, you know, first dabbled into the industry and in actually interning for a furniture dealership where I got involved in IADA and then it evolved into an actual job. So then I started working as a liaison to the furniture manufacturer. Got to go to my first Neocon 21 years ago. <laughs> Crazy to think about that. So I've been in the industry here for, gosh, almost 25 years. So after furniture, I got a really fantastic opportunity to work for a leading textile manufacturer and did that for almost 19 years. So, wow. um, which was a phenomenal experience. It was a great, you know, part of my career really evolved again, like IDA developed great networking relationships, um, worked in three states, Oregon, Idaho, and Alaska. And then um, just was ready for that next phase of my career, a possible, you know, opportunity in advancement and uh, found Cambria and I've been there, gosh, two, a little over two years now, which has gone by so fast. But in the middle of all that, for that 19 years um, with the textile company, I um, had three children. So many of the designers that I know were like, oh my God, I knew you before. Um, <laughs> and now one's going off to college. It's kind of crazy. Time is a flat circle is what we are learning. <laughs> For sure. And I'm actually celebrating 24 years of marriage next week, which oh my goodness. marks like 24 years of my industry, pretty much. That's amazing. So let's get into it. You were going to talk about a new collection from Cambria that they design in collaboration with Gensler, which is a big design firm with offices all over the place. Can you talk a little bit about like how that came to be? Yeah, so we're really excited about this launch. Um, you know, it was about two years in development and, of course, an opportunity to work and partner with, you know, Gensler, um, one of the biggest architecture firms in the world. And also just looking at kind of what is really missing in our um, line, you know, what is really needed out in the commercial world and what they found that would be appealing um, to their markets as well as, you know, would fall into the same category as all the firms that I talked to. So really the collection really draw into um, looking at the NCS system, which is the national um, color system. So it really was derived off of that. And there was, there's six colors in the palette uh, two whites, three grays, and a black. So you can see the palette right there. Um, and the inspiration really was so that it actually um, had a seamlessly coordinating so um, palettes could run to each other, right? So the grays, some of the little bit of marbling, a little bit of organic movement, but some that are like a terrazzo-like, which are yeah. really stunning. Yeah, and I find that terrazzo is like super hot right now. Is that what you're finding? Totally. You know, and it's interesting. A lot of the terrazzos that you see out there are a lot more color variations, right? There's a lot more color in it where this is unique in that it's more tone on tone, some mm -hmm. of the textural, um, a little bit more um, subdued and subtle, and then some that are more dra dramatic, right? So there's that black and white, that veil village that's really stunning. Yeah. I'm really interested about this like national color thing. Can you talk a little bit more about like what that is? 
Yeah, I guess it's just like a universal color. You know, it's something new to me too, but yeah. I, um, as far as Gensler, this is kind of, it basically allows you to range that color. So like on the whites, it will say like 1000 NCS. So you're oh, able to like basically run your palette off of that color system, right? Sweet. Which is really great because then a lot of them play and complement each other really well. That makes sense. And so do you happen to know why Gensler approached you? Was there a particular project they were working on or an application or are they just looking to have some fun? <laughs> I know, right? They've never actually, um, there's never been a collaboration with another quartz manufacturer. So this was really a great, unique opportunity for us. And just, again, just allows us to be, you know, on that um, front stage, right? Um, in the commercial spectrum, because really, um, in Cambria, I mean, until I came um, on, we did primarily a lot of residential in the area, right? So we really haven't expanded um, in the commercial side here, actually in the Pacific Northwest a ton. So it's been a really great opportunity. But as far as that partnership, um, that's kind of, you know, like I said, been in a two year process. And I think we're introduced um, at one of the shows and there's, there's just a higher level connection for sure. I think. Yeah. You know? I love that. And when I think another thing I would bring up is also just understanding, you know, what I really was attracted to Cambria was their mission of craftsmanship, performance and service, right? They're American made, family owned. I mean, so I think a lot of those um, attributed to, you know, them, us being an opportunity to work with such a great company because those values that they also um, hold true to, you know, their company as well. So, um, you know, and then looking at the highest level performance, I mean, we're very transparent when it comes to our product. And I think we're, we are the only one that offers an end to end um, sourcing, right? So we own our own mine and mm. we actually take from our own mine and then throughout the whole. And it's, it's a phenomenal you know, process that those are the things that kind of set us apart, I would say, from other manufacturers. That makes sense. And so if you own your own mine, is the mine also located in the U.S.? It's in North America. It's out of um, Canada. Okay. And so does that mean that you're able to sort of um, play with your products a little bit more? So if, if Gensler did approach you like they did, it's easier for you to sort of innovate and play with patterns and colors because you do own that supply. Yeah, no, that's really great. I think it's an opportunity because we do have our own design development. We have our own innovation, our proprietary technology. We are constantly pushing the envelope with new designs. I mean, we really set the bar when it comes to the trends in courts, the lot of movement, but then also the subtleties different particulates that you that show up in our slabs that are from more of a refined to some that are more chunky like actually this is an interesting queen queensberry i don't know if you can see but can you see the particulate some of the yeah, particles? yeah. So it's and then it's the thorough body that's something to really think about when you're looking at good quality slabs um is that thorough bodiness and then also just that clear and concise we only take the purest whitest quartz from the mine mm. and so it gives you that kind of white canvas to kind of develop from right so you yeah. have a real clarity and the design is just real um and you know really um definitive so yeah so i think we all think of quartz as something that you can use as a countertop so hot what are some other things that you can do with quartz that you're seeing? Like what are some innovative applications or new things that people are sort of doing with quartz that you're seeing? Right. So with this collection, we actually are offering um, different size um, flooring and wall tiles. So not only is it, it, we produce the slab, but right then we cut it into sizes so that it can be used in that application. So definitely um, stair treads, flooring, walls, um, definitely wall cladding. Um, we work in so many different segments. Uh, we do a lot of case studies uh, that, you know, if you're interested in and knowing more about what we do in retail environments and hospitality and healthcare, um, there's lots of unique applications. We have tons of content. Um, as you can see in some of these images, 
there it will show you our actual brochures and a lot of um, that we have shows different applications but I would say also furniture we've aligned ourselves with a lot of furniture manufacturers um, so yeah thinking about you know in workplace when you need a conference room table where mm. So there's a lot of um, fireplace surrounds, you know, we've done a lot of that as well as um, bathroom wall partitions. There's, it's limitless. So as you as the designer, you know, just thinking outside the box when you can, where you can use this. Got material. it. And do you need to think about the thickness of quartz when it comes to using it on a different application or a different um, countertop? Like what should a designer consider when thinking about where it's going, but also how thick it should be? Yeah, so we have um, a one, two, and three CM, um, and I would say in a one and two in a vertical application. But certainly, I think what's also what sets us apart is when I can get involved in a project with a designer and help them kind of write the specification. We also have regional product reps that really have an understanding more so of the fabrication side and the connection with that. So we can partner with those subcontractors to make sure that, you know, all of that is written specifically as to what your design intent is. So, um, but it is limitless really. I mean, again, there are fabricators here in the area that we partner with. So we only partner with the best fabricators that have the right tooling, mm. the wet jets, you know, that really we certify them. And some of them are have certain capabilities and some of them don't. So we can help narrow and work with your general contractor to know who they should be working with, you know? Got it. Awesome. So one of the things I find really interesting about this line is that it is um, the palette is very sort of modern and neutral and it seems very forward thinking. And it looks like it's a really great addition to the Cambria line because you do sort of span the range like you have a huge range of like the look and style of your product. Is that something that you all sort of work on to make sure that you have like the cool sparkly stuff, but also the more neutral toned down ones. Like what are you seeing in terms of like looks? What's the most, like what is, what's the trendy stuff in courts these days? Yeah, no, I think that's great. It just, I love that you recognize that because there is a lot of sparkly, there's a lot of real literal veining that we've had. And then I, you know, approach sometimes commercial, they're like, no, we just need a white, gray and a black, you know? <laughs> um, or uh, we love the trazo, you know, what do you have in kind of that tone on tone texture, that kind of rugged or concrete or soapstone like, you know? And so I think we've really hit the mark here um, with this collection. And then also in um, January, because we're 20 years, um, we launched 20 designs um, in 2020. So um, <laughs> we have, um, a, again, a soapstone like very lots of really great marble tone on tone looks. So um, we're really I think we've we've been able to get that range and we're constantly developing. Right. We've got an amazing design and development team and with our technology, just innovation is constant with us. So, yeah. We've really hit the mark, I think, with this one. And I'm really, really excited because it's offered in our matte finish. And that's a proprietary oh. finish um, that is not to be confused with honed because I get that a lot. Like, can I get this in honed? I'm like, well, because we're just we that's what we're used to. That's the the term that we've heard right in this industry is that it's got that really rough or n non um, you know, it's not polished, right? Yeah. So it's just subtle. Um, but our mat is can be used in the same application as the polished. And it is under the same transferable lifetime warranty with all of our designs. So can be used, you can get all of our designs, which is like, I think now up to 20, 220 designs. In the, in the mat. In the mat and polished, yes. Nice. And is I do find that that is sort of, again, super hot right now, is the matte finishes. It felt like at first we all wanted bright, shiny whites or bright, shiny concrete gray. And now we want the honed, right? <laughs> matte <Totally. finish. laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, so we want it to have that same level of performance, right? And be able to be completely non-porous where you don't have to seal or maintain it. So our matte finish does not have to be sealed, does not need to be, you know, 
maintained in that way. And so that's where I get calls. Designers are like, can I use it? You know, in this like high traffic area, I'm like, yes, thank you for asking. <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Awesome. And so one of the things I also appreciate about Cambria is you do have a lot of material transparency documents. Um, and that's probably attributed to the fact that you own your own mind, as you mentioned. I know there's been a lot of um, sort of reporting for those of us who listen to a lot of NPR yes. about um, fabricating quartz and the dust that comes off for the um, at the workers. Like that. Yeah. yeah. What is what? How should designers like think about that? Are there things they can do to sort of mitigate that? Is that a difference? in your type of quartz because it is sort of maybe a different makeup like what do, what should designers do about that right it's actually it's in all quartz um when actually not using any kind of um water jetting right so that particulate the the silica that is ingested is you have to be particular you know when it's fabrication it's really about the control of the fabricating um protocols right so yeah when we work with a certified fabricator we need to make sure that they're only using wet jet they're not dry cutting because really okay. that is where it comes into being a problem is when they dry cut so okay just making sure that you know that level of certification is happening at the fabrication level awesome and is that something designers could write into their specs in terms of fabrication like must be water cut or something like that to sort of ensure that that happens yeah and, and you know what's interesting is like i don't see it happening at all in my industry mm. or in our area that they they know not to dry cut um interesting we won't work with anyone that is not so um it really doesn't happen a whole lot in the area so but it is important to write as much as you can um i think in the spec for sure and oh. that we can always provide more documentation so great I love that. Well, I would just like to say thank you for doing all those transparency documents. I'm one of those designers who's constantly emailing for them. So that I very much appreciate. So I really enjoy that. Again, is that sort of a product of you owning your own supply that you really can take a look at what's in the product, tinker with it and make it a greener product? Absolutely. So I really appreciate that level of transparency too, Ren, and it's important to, we were one of the first that brought on the Declare label in our segment uh, yeah. and being a part of HPDC. Um, you can see my kids. <laughs> it's all good. Usually my dog little tail goes by. So I'm like, like, stay upstairs <laughs> with the dog. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yes, um, having all those certifications is a big component of having that kind of uh, full vertical integration, that end to end, right? We source it, we ins we can install it. In some areas, we fabricate our own. We have fabrication um, facilities all around North America, but here in the Pacific Northwest, it's a different channel. We work with all the certified partners. And then, but we have a lifetime warranty that's transferable. So we will bring come out to after install. And if there's any issue, so we don't just let it go, right? So <laughs> we really, it's like that cradle to great, you know, scenario. We are fully um, transparent, but it's also really important to know that not all quartz is created equal, right? Yeah. So just know what is in the ingredients, know exactly what you, you have the certifications, like you said, the documents, um, because not all manufacturers are able to provide that, right? There's stuff, um, coming from all over the world. So yeah. having our eyes from beginning to end, I just, I love really that. really helps. Um, we had a question from Brittany. Are those documents linked on source? Great question, Brittany. Love that. Mm -hmm. Normally, yes, all of those documents are linked on product pages on source. The Cambria ones are still coming because we're still going through our old. You guys were one of the first people to load your products on source. So like we're still getting those uploaded. But Brittany, great question. Yes, you can always find those documents on our website. And if not, always reach out because we are happy to dig for those for you because that is our job. So speaking of design, if you'd like to reach out to Rochelle and get questions or um, get samples of this great new line, you can do that from our site. Um, Rochelle, I also want to say thank you so much. This month, we are dedicating to all the vendors who donated materials for our new flagship uh, library here in Portland, which, of course, we 
kind of can visit, but also kind of cannot because we're here in our homes. But we are super excited to have some Cambria courts in our library for designers to see installed. So thank you so much for that. Um, I'm sure we'll be looking at that soon. And designers, if you want to know more about all the great products that we have in our new library, um, you can register for another snack break. Like I said, the whole month is dedicated to all of our great um, donated materials. So smash that register now button. And in the meantime, Rochelle, it was great to chat with you about Cambria. I learned so much and I never knew we would talk so much about mines. <laughs> <laughs> and it, like you said, there's lots more to talk about. So reach out to me. Thank you, Ren, so much for yeah. having me. Really right. love being a part of Source. So. Heck yeah. All right, designers, we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much, Rochelle. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Bye.